welcome back guys this is the Brem Fresh here today I am actually reinstalling my lab um, basically I'm rebuilding it with uh, the next generation hypervisor vSphere 7 um, as most of you might know I don't have a servo or anything I just have a, a desktop 710 I think uh, Dell and I'm just using that uh, to install ESX host so let's get started um, let me quickly show you the desktop anyway I will need to grab the gimbal so it's underneath my desk and I will quickly use some light there you go as you can see here this is Dell machine 7010 as you can see up there so I have a 2 terabyte hard drive and 32 gig memory in here um, and I have SSD card attached so I only had uh, one bus connecting to the hard drive and CD-ROM so I had to use this additional extra CD-ROM drive here and I have another Dell serv uh, laptop running there which is running my NAS at the moment well it's a small setup anyway so over here I have burned the CD and I have uh, booted it and you can see that it is uh, ready for installation so let's get started all I have to do is I have my keyboard connected here I'm just going to sit here and start the installation and we'll walk through it I'll give my gimbal to my lovely camera woman here thank you all we have done is burn the CD put it in and let it to boot, uh, let it boot we have booted um, and we had the installation of vSphere 7 installer and it's asking us to cancel or enter to continue we'll press enter so this is the end user agreement read it at your leisure i would i would press f11 to accept and continue might take some time to scan all the storage um and it has found the two two terabyte disk as you can see here uh, reduce the brightness so you can see can you see that so you can see here you have I have a two terabyte and a hundred gig flash or SSD here I'm going to install it on the two terabyte disk here actually it will be better if I install it here it will be a brand new doesn't matter so let me use the flash and it will be quicker for the video as well it will be like in a couple of seconds so I've just selected the flash for installing the uh, ESX wouldn't make much difference but uh, for the purpose of this demo as well it flash will be very fast for installation so now it is saying VMFS cannot be preserved to preserve the data on VMFS data so move the data and Continue with the installation to override VMFS, which will also modify the partition and delete all the existing. Data. And the flash drive which I have here, um, which is the SSD drive, does not have much data. I'm not bothered about it. So let's go ahead. For the language, we are going to select United Kingdom. I'm going to set up password. And then repeat over here it's picking up that this CPU may not be supported um, in future ESXi release please plan accordingly so that's fine it's supported for I think it's supported for this version I have when I bought it I knew that it will be supported till 6.7 um, but I wasn't sure about 7.0 because it wasn't out at that time but uh, let's let's continue we are going to hit enter to continue and then this is the final uh, screen if you continue from here there's no going back so confirmation screen where it's saying escape to cancel f9 to go back and f11 to install so let's start it let's start the installation i'm pressing f11 and because this is ssd you'll be amazed how quick it will go so it's at 5% at the moment 
11 16 and again you have to uh, I have to admit ESX I is only 300 MB so it shouldn't take much longer to get it installed even on a normal SSD, uh, normal hard drive really um, so it's 30 percent 34 percent so we are going to wait for it to complete and then we will be rebooting the machine once the machine will be rebooted I will assign an IP uh, to the server and then I will uh, install my first vSphere uh, sorry my first vCenter server 7 version 7 on this particular ESX host so nearly there you will find uh, I will link uh, other videos which uh, will show you how to configure the ESX host once it's built so the links will be in the description below be sure to check them out and we are nearly done we are 90% done here okay let's zoom in here ESX i7 has been installed successfully ESX i7 will operate in an evaluation mode for 60 days which I know because every time you install a fresh product VMware gives you 60 days um, and then you must basically register it with VMware remove the installation media which is what I'm going to do from the bottom of uh, my desk and then we can reboot so reboot this server to start ESX let's reboot it and I will get down and disconnect my CD-ROM drive job here for this CD is done needs to be labeled take one <laughs> So I need to label this as well. I shouldn't have put it in. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so we are booting ESX. Um, for those of you who haven't subscribed to me, I will give you a good reason why. Um, I'm starting a new series on vSphere 7. Uh, which is going to cover all the new topics. Uh, there's a lot of new functionalities which has been introduced with uh, uh, vSphere 7 with the integration with Kubernetes. Um, so be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in my channel. Cheers. Bye.